Hello guys, welcome to Small Turns Big, where we turn small things big. Today we're looking at mold cheese. In particular, one brand, Roquefort. Let's unpack this and have a look at it under the microscope. So, ooh, you see there's a lot of mold going on there. So let's open it up here. There's the very distinctive uh, Roquefort smell here. So this Roquefort cheese belongs to the blue mold cheeses. Okay, let's find a good position here where we see the mold inside quite clearly. This one is a, has a nice opening here. You can see all the, uh, the spots here. And this one is quite on the surface, this mold structure. And you can see there's some, wow, it looks <laughs> a bit disgusting. I don't know if you would want to eat this if you see this like this. But let me zoom in here now. Cool, okay. And now you can see clearly the ball. Uh, I don't know what this is standing out a bit because all the other mold texture is like a crystal form, has a little crystal forms. So let's maybe measure this, this one out. Uh, I can use my tool here. We can measure this ball. It's 0 0.06 millimeters, so super small. Maybe if I take here uh, my little poking stick and you can see how large this tip is compared to the to the little ball here and you can see how oh look, I'm damaging it up uh, and if I zoom out a bit so you can see what's happening let me poke poke it up a little bit more so you can see in reference to the slow magnification how it looks like oh it's very goo gooey and soft <laughs> it's a bit disgusting but uh, yeah now you can see the mold it's a very thin film and it's only on the surface. If we go here uh, to this other side, so you can see here it's a very small thin layer on top of the cheese. And you can see how the mold, mold is uh, standing out here, sticking out. It's commonly thought that this mold is producing penicillium. However, this is not true. But it has some anti-inflammatory properties. That's why in the past, shepherds used to put the mold on some wounds. So it would stop inflammation on the wounds. If this got you interested in learning STEM topics to make improvements in your life, then I recommend you check out Brilliant to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills. Their lessons are interactive so that you are applying what you've learned and understanding the why of it instead of just memorizing formulas to get by. To supercharge your learning, go to brilliant.org slash smallturnsbig and the first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So now we've got the mold on the glass slide here and with this microscope we can go zoom up to 200 magnification or 220 magnification and see how it looks like. So here we're on 100. You can see these little mold spots and cheese in between. And let's zoom in a bit more up to the maximum here. So here you can see a little bit of the crystals and the texture uh, of the mold and the cheese. So here I got a little bit bigger piece on this glass slide that I can poke around with. You can see, ooh, it's very soft and uh, gooey because the temperature is now uh, much, much warmer. Because before you actually eat it right out of the fridge, and now uh, yeah, it's quite warm. Here on the max magnification, you can now see also a bit more detailed. It's like one big patch of, of moss now on, uh, on this uh, magnification. So here we have also, uh, instead of a, like a patch, we got here a line that goes across, across the whole cheese. And it's quite cool. This could be one of the effects that it has during the production because nowadays you of course don't produce the mold uh, through getting it from the cave and bread. So the mold is introduced into the cheese through the curd phase, but it's also a possibility that they poke holes in the rain through aerosol particles, it's introduced into the cheese. So let's zoom in here to the section. And you can see maybe even actually, oh, it got warm now and this bubble was forming through the mold. It came, it sweated out of the mold because the mold is very fluffy and soft. So this cheese is starting to drip out through the mold. And you can see how the, the, the mold particles, the crystals are uh, on top of this bubble. <laughs> so I guess it's time to put it away. So it will not uh, melt away here on, this, on the microscope. I hope you liked it. You also learned something from uh, the region Roquefort. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.